Back now with uh, Maynard Ferguson, who, as I say, does not make many television appearances. Why do you uh, do this so seldom? Television. I think it's mostly because I'm so involved with the uh, a band uh, running around this country and other countries uh, uh, doing concerts and, um, and we do so many of them in the schools, um, mostly because I'm very interested in music education and I uh, do a certain amount of teaching whenever possible during our touring, as do many of the guys in the band. They're all very brilliant young musicians. And right they're all very young musicians. Yes, they, they certainly I are. I that they seem to be uh, <laughs> not quite as gray of hair as the leader. No, I think so. the older I get, though, the uh, younger they start to look to me. Okay, yeah. but do, <laughs> I would guess that you make a concerted effort to find young people to bring into your organization, if that's what you call it. Why? Uh, it isn't a concerted effort, it's just a, with what's happening uh, in the level of music education in the schools today in the last ten years, we'll say. Uh, they come out uh, with their games so well put together as opposed to before where uh, maybe he'd be a great soloist but really couldn't read music too well or uh, didn't have any uh, classical training to go with his jack or with his jazz or his uh, fusion thing or his rock or whatever he's into but here they get such a wide uh, education in music that uh, they're ready at a much younger age. If there is a word that runs through your career that describes what you do, I think the word would be contemporary. You are always contemporary. I would or like sometimes to so. a little bit ahead of what is contemporary. Do these young people help to keep you that way? I would think so, huh? yes, yeah. very much. Uh, what's that old... Uh, Tibetan uh, uh, translation which has to do with uh, uh, the uh, older must uh, always also remember to learn from the young. So they influence me quite a bit. Do you ever find yourself in conflict with their thinking or their ideas? Where, oh, sure. You know where they say, hey, Sure, I think that's part of being creative is uh, that uh, in the final thing you have to be the leader. And, uh, and you say, the commandant. yes and no, <laughs> and, uh, and you try to say it with love and uh, because uh, uh, what doesn't work because you're the leader uh, might work if one of those guys was the leader, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure there'll be some leaders come out of this band. Of too. course, but in the meantime, as you say, you take a vote amongst the band, and then we do it Maynard Ferguson's way. I right? think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you had a big night at the Berkeley School of Music last night in Boston, I understand. That's and, right. It was very exciting. Well, but may I ask, or are you too modest to tell? <laughs> last no, night, they, the, they established, yeah. I believe, a chair or a scholarship in this man's name for uh, students of the trumpet That's at right. the uh, Berkeley School of Music in Boston. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have... <laughs> the honor to give you the award. That's the plaque which was uh, presented last night to Mr. Ferguson up at Boston, and uh, I don't know if they gave this to you already or if I'm giving it to you now, but it has your name on, so I guess it belongs to you. Well, thank you very it's much. It's my great pleasure. It's a beautiful my place. place. My pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, let's get to this guy. Bob Conti. He's not going to be mad that I said you wrote the song. He will be mad now because now you called him Bob instead of Bill. Oh, Bill Conti. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill Bob. <laughs> uh, I played uh, Rocky. You know, uh, my version has been done by the USC marching band at halftime and things like that. And I go there and I play with them. And uh, the first time it happened was at the USC uh, UCLA game about two years ago when mm -hmm. I, the thing was really fresh and new. And uh, uh, it was really fun to walk out and, and uh, you know, and I'm running out onto the field with all these young kids and uh, in this marching band and uh, uh, over the uh, announcement system and it's going out there to, what, 20 million people uh, yeah. are watching it and, uh, and sure enough, here's Maynard Ferguson to play uh, his own composition <laughs> and it's just what you did because we had so uh, much of a success that so we were the and, first... And you fight that, don't you? I mean, you probably carry a banner saying, I didn't write this <laughs> oh, yet, right, sure. Because I don't think, uh, um, uh, certainly Bill had, had uh, has had such success as a composer and he's such a wonderful uh, writer and he's a very good friend of mine. So we've had many uh, laughs about this together, ab about how often the uh, public thinks that I wrote the music to Rocky. And uh, whereas we actually had the big hit. And uh, also uh, one of the things that Bill laughs about and says the only thing he really resents was we were number one in Italy uh, for 16 weeks. And uh, that's in the pop charts. And uh, uh, he said that one did bother him, that you could have a name like Ferguson and be on top of his version of his own t uh, tune with, with a name like Conti. Conti in Italy, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> It does right. get confusing. Yeah. I read this afternoon that at one time you and your family went to India to study religion. 
Uh, that's 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 pretty accurate. Uh, um, we went to India, and uh, I'm, I certainly am uh, uh, very involved in various kinds of spirituality, and I'm a devotee of Satya Sai Baba, and uh, uh, which is not a religion, but rather a, he is a spiritual leader of maybe about 20 million uh, people. Well, would it be the study then of a philosophy or something? Yes. All right. Right. What did you bring back with uh, uh, from that? Uh, I understood more about what my role is in life. Uh, things like that um, uh, when I play for people, I play for people because I love them. And uh, I think that uh, uh, here in this part of the world, we feel really funny about saying that. And uh, so we don't even say it to ourselves. And, um, and my calling in life is to play and entertain people. And, uh, and uh, I must make sure at the same time uh, that I'm entertaining myself by doing what I want to do. But it means nothing to me unless the people hearing and watching me get pleasure. Well, if you had as good a time tonight as we did, you had a real good time. Thank you so much for being here. It's a joy to meet you and to have you on the Thank program. Thank you. Mr. Maynard Ferguson. Hey, here's a T-shirt from the guys from the band. I will take the T-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Watch your microphone, Gordon. Thank you. Okay? Wait a minute.